If you're looking for a campground to winter in Florida, we just might have the answer. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you'll live amazing if you're camping in Florida at a lovely campground and you realize that this is your go-to spot for the winter. And that's kind of what I feel like we found here, right? Yeah, we really landed on a gem here in Jacksonville. As you can see it behind us, uh, it's just beautiful. The setting is just beautiful. So if you've ever thought about wintering in Florida, you've probably heard that campgrounds are full, you have to book a year in advance, and they are also very expensive. We've heard three to $5,000 a month to winter in Florida. And I think that's why Jacksonville has an edge. It's north enough that it's out of the really high expense zone. When you watch this video, we'll have just left. We think, we feel like we're gonna have to pry ourselves out of this <laughs> campground, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, we're actually discussing staying some, a little longer, but it, it's gonna impact everything that we've got scheduled after this. So we'll probably be leaving, sadly. Well, first of all, we were going to leave Florida February 1, and then there was a cold snap and we said, okay, that's too soon. So about five days, the last five days at the end of January, right? It was, you know, down to just a few days. Mm -hmm. We booked an entire month here at the Flamingo RV Resort. And I had stayed here before a few years ago. And I said, you've got to experience this campground. Yeah, you raved about it. Just happened that there was availability. And right now there's still empty sites. We're standing in one actually. Here's the biggest hint. Okay, if you are looking to winter in Florida, start looking north. If you find that you want to be in southern Florida and it's and it's booked, which it likely could be, just work your way north. You could also work your way inward away from the coast. If you shop around or if you call around, you're going to find places that are available to, is, the, is the message. Yeah, don't believe the fear that's being spread about there's no room at the inn here in Florida on, in the wintertime. It's just not true. Well, now the keys are probably full in the winter, every yeah, winter. There are places that you won't find a site. But we like Jacksonville. We don't want to leave this campground. The weather is perfect. The location is great. I mean, we have no complaints at all. None, none at all. Well, I do want to say that this campground is not remote. Now, if you're looking for a remote campground, we did a video just a few weeks ago that I will link to. That is remote. This has everything at your fingertips. There are lots of people that like to camp that want to know the stores are there, that they don't have to drive forever. We had to drive 40 minutes to find stores, you know, when we camp remotely. Mm -hmm. But here, everything, we have the Walmart right outside the door. The whole area, you've got the beaches, you have St. Augustine not that far away, Jekyll Island. I mean, there's a lot to see and do, but let's just actually talk about some of the features of the campground, starting with what's behind us, right? This beautiful lake that's behind us, and we're, um, you can see our camper is backed right up to the lake. It's just, uh, I wake up in the morning and walk out and, and have my coffee staring at that. It's just... Oh, it's beautiful. There's geese and ducks and turtles. It is just lovely, but there's also a beach. So you can hang out on the beach. You don't have to drive anywhere. There's lounge chairs, there's private gazebos, and then there's also these water trikes. We haven't rented one yet, but uh, yeah, we saw some people out on them the other day. And you can also rent uh, stand-up paddle boards and some other, I think, uh, the, the little pedal boats. What do you call those? <laughs> pedal boats. Yeah, pedal boats. <laughs> <laughs> so there's all that water. And I think if you are traveling with a family and you don't want to keep driving somewhere, there's enough right here. This is your resort. This is your go-to place. There's enough right here to keep everybody busy. In addition to all that, there is also a fitness center. There is a cafe. Uh, of course, there's laundry, mm -hmm. clubhouse. There's also a dog park here and it has an agility course. There's even a dog wash. Pretty much everything, everything except a hot tub. And we have, yes. We have to tell you, there is no hot tub. Yes, but there might be. We, we cannot confirm the rumor, but we do know that the swimming pool is gonna be replaced. They might be adding a hot tub. They're also gonna be paving the area. So when I was here, it had different owners, but Flamingo RV Resort was bought out by Sun Properties. Yeah, I think it's Sun Communities. Um, they just bought it, I think, last year, and uh, they spent a bundle on it. They spent 18 million, 18 something million, to buy this property. So you know they're serious about keeping it up. Yeah, and it already is well maintained, but they're adding things. They've added some solar lighting. Like I said, they're going to be uh, doing the pool. They're going to be upgrading the sites. Uh, so one thing about the sites that's really unique: all the sites on the lake that we've noticed have what? There are two sewer drops. 
and you can get one. If you have an A and you want to put your windshield towards the uh, water, you can do that because there's a sewer on the, on the side that you would need uh, to hook up to. I really like that. It's such a nice touch. You know, you, they, they're really thinking of you. They're thinking about, okay, how can we make it more enjoyable? Some of the sites are super premium uh, in that you get your own private like deck and you have your own chairs. I mean, they, there's all different levels. Yeah, there's some that are, that are not on the water and those will be, obviously, those will be cheaper than the, the sites on the water. Well, we thought it was pretty reasonable too. Oh yeah, it's not bad. What we're paying is not bad. I think I think it's about fourteen hundred a month. Maybe a little more because we paid a little more to. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it might be closer to fifteen hundred a month for the right. for and a water site. Staying by the month is a lot cheaper than by the night. I think um, by the night is seventy five or something. But even staying by the week is cheaper. And that's I think is a good tip if you're planning out your travel. If you can at least stay for a week you're gonna get a price break. And typically we've seen in our travels that is like works out to like a free night. For a weekly rate. Yeah, for yeah. a weekly mm -hmm. rate, pretty much at every campground. Yep. Now, if you just wanna come for a couple of nights, there are yurts and cabins that you can rent so you don't even need a camper. If you listen closely, you can probably hear traffic. I'd have to say the one downside of this campground is you can hear the traffic. And it really doesn't bother us. Does it bother you? No, no. And where we're at, we're far enough away from it that, that it's just, I mean, like you said, I can, I can hear it as we're talking here. Maybe you can too on the mics, but I'm not sure. Uh, but it's the 295 um, is, is a stone's throw from the campground. It's Jacksonville's Beltway, and that is why it is so accessible and easy to get to. There really is so much that's close. I mean, we're, you know, an hour from St. Augustine. We're really close to the Georgia border, so there's, you know, all kinds of stuff up there. We drove over to Amelia Island a couple of times for bike rides, and... Jekyll Island is just over an hour from us, so we feel like, even though we've been here almost a full month, I don't, you know, we haven't seen it all. We haven't actually made it to downtown Jacksonville yet. No, no, we went kind of to the outskirts where the dealers, where the auto dealers were, because we had to get some service work done on our truck. But so we saw that part of Jacksonville, but we haven't seen downtown Jacksonville. The zoo, I've heard good things about the zoo. We haven't been there. So, I mean, there's a lot. I think you could spend a whole winter here. You would not have a problem at all. Of course, there are beaches, all different kinds of beaches. Yeah. I think you'd be fine. Temperatures in Jacksonville are not as hot as further down in Florida, but they're still very comfortable. And um, year round, the temperatures in Jacksonville are fine. There's a few months where it gets to 91, but I feel like I could almost live here. I think I could handle the 91 just for all the benefits of this area. Yeah. Well, you're going to get that pretty much anywhere in the summer, summer months. We were in Montana last year, the week that we were there in the Bozeman area, and it was in almost 100. Yeah, you're not going to avoid the heat nowadays. I mean, it's, it's going to get into the 90s pretty much anywhere you go. If you're gonna be here for the long term, you may wanna think about getting a golf cart. We do see that they're popular because I think just one lap around the lake is like at least a half mile. Oh, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a good way. So I like big parks like that. You feel like you really have your own resort, your own community. Um, but yeah. yeah, we have seen a lot of golf carts, which yeah. I think are handy here. Bicycles will work, but you just can't really carry much um, in a, on a bicycle. Speaking of that, there are there's a store here too, so you can you know buy your little things, you know, a firewood and mm -hmm. ice, that sort of thing. Right. And the cafe that's here is open seven days a week, and on the weekends it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think during the week it's lunch and dinner, and it's just so great to have that, to know that you don't have to go out if you want to grab a meal. It's all right here, and you can sit outside and just enjoy the view of the lake. And since we've been here for a month, we've had to go shopping a few times, and, and we found this gem of a market that's about a mile from here yeah a couple miles yeah harold's meat market and harold's produce what uh, a fine oh yeah it's 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 like that old neighborhood market that you might have grown up around it's just it just brings back so many memories and the and the uh the food and the produce are top notch yeah and the prices are good too so we got some hamburger from there but we saw you know all kinds of a wide selection and we saw um, what did we see? The chicken? Oh, pigtail! We saw a pigtail there. So yeah, they, we yeah that's we, right. They had pigtail and little. Yeah, yeah. We weren't brave enough to buy it, but if you've had pigtail, let us know what it tastes yeah, like. Yeah, what do you do with it? I mean, besides yeah. eat it, how do you prepare it? Yeah. You know, the place is just a gem. If you if you're going to be in the area, check this place out. 
we can't wait to come back and who knows we may actually had not be leaving <laughs> we keep saying we're going to be leaving but we keep looking at each other it would not take much to convince us to stay another month no it wouldn't well we're pulling out but man i'm sure not want to leave this place i know it is just awesome but hey wait there's a car show this weekend what <laughs>